Recognition, what's going on? This is Justin Summers. And Neil Meyer. This is the front office news giving you your daily recap of the Cincinnati Bearcats men's basketball game as they win 77 to 50 over Florida AM. Bearcats got off to a good start as they were up 10 at the half and then really just hit it, you know, took off in the second half. Uh, JD decided to come alive in the second half and overall they just played really great defense. They held Florida A&M to a 30% clip from the whole game and overall won the rebounding battle and really hit the inside game today. I think that really helped them take off in this game. Neil, what did you see today? Uh, Justin mentioned uh, the second half started. Bearcats actually held Florida A&M scoreless for the final four and a half minutes of the first half and then almost uh, nearly eight minutes into the second half, so about 14, 13, 14 minutes straight without a field goal, and that really busted this game open. I think defense was really locked in. Uh, the Bearcats out-rebounded 48-33, to 33, which was a, va a vastly big improvement from this weekend. And outside, I saw the glasses being uh, protected, a lot of rebounds tonight. But really, the defense was locked in. As Justin mentioned, holding the team to 30% from the field. That really started with that 12-minute, uh, or 12, 13-minute span of when they were just locked in on defense and strung them down. But outside of that, I saw a lot of good play. Mikey Saunders got off to a very quick start tonight with nine points in the first half. And then also the ball, JD had a big second half uh, with 14 points of 14 out of 16 points in the second half. But outside of that, this Bearcats team really started to come alive. We saw big minutes from Odia Guama tonight too, which was nice to see him bounce back after his performance Saturday versus Xavier where he ended up fouling out in about seven minutes. But for him to come in tonight with nine points and bounce right back like that, it, it was great to see him bounce back, get that opportunity. But another thing tonight was, as Justin will probably reiterate this, was the what Sam Martin means to this team. As everyone here in Fifth Third Arena saw tonight when the walk-on, uh, fifth-year walk-on, fifth-year walk-on came into the game, the crowd just erupted. He took a big shot, took a big blocking foul, but could have gone either way. But outside of that, Coach Miller and Jeremiah Davenport, Odia Guama had a lot of praise for the walk-on after the game tonight, saying he's been battling through injuries and he's just one of the toughest guys. He's a leader. And just overall, just he brings so much to the table for this Bearcats team. And obviously it goes unnoticed, but they gave a lot of praise to the walk-on. Oh, yeah, definitely, Neil. I, I think everybody on this team, you know, they say Sam's their favorite guy. Sam's a guy in practice that he hustles. He gives his heart. He gives 110% every time he comes on the court. Everybody in Cincinnati, you know, when they come to these games, you're up big, you know, you're on Sam Martin alert. And when Sam Martin comes in the game, it just gives everybody a big smile. I think Sam Martin is just a great guy overall. And, you know, Odie and Jeremiah and Wes Miller all said tonight how, you know, just how special he is and just how great he plays for this team. And just the amount of effort he gives really helps this team take their play to a next level. As Justin but, mentioned, too, as well, is once Odie and Jeremiah were addressed with uh, Sam Martin's play in the final three minutes of this game, uh, Odie actually grabbed the microphone and screamed Sam out for Sam's nickname. And you could just see the energy and how excited they, they were for uh, Sam. So it was great to see that, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. And just to hit on the overall game, I think the big key to this Bearcats win today was definitely the bigs inside. With the UC, with the UC Bearcats basketball team, thing about them is they have so much height and I think that the Bearcats can be a really good team if they can use their height and their bigs to their advantage here. You know, you got Hayden Koval, uh, Dua Du, Odie, even Jeremiah. I mean, they talked about moving Jeremiah. I mean, right now he's rocking a four, but I mean, he can play three, a five. He said he doesn't really care about where he plays overall. It's just he wants to be on the court. And that's how all these guys are. They they understand that, that you know, sometimes they're not going to be on the court a lot. And I think that's really what helps his team overall. And I think, like like Neil hit on, the rebounding numbers, Wes Miller actually has not been happy recently with the rebounding numbers. And as everybody saw, you know, on Saturday, in the last couple of weeks, they were beat. They were beat on the boards. They were beat on the inside game. And that's what ended up, you know, losing some of these games, you know, down the stretch lately. And today, the Bearcats did a lot better today. They out-rebounded them. But, you know, Wes Miller wants his team to be defensive heavy. He wants them to be on the boards. And I think, you know, once that clicks and, you know, they start hitting a couple of shots from outside, this team can be really good. I think overall this team is still making adjustments. It's still improving as they go. But uh, the Bearcats are now 8-3 and three on the year with the win. Um, 
forget who they play next, but they will hopefully get another win. Um, conference play starts really soon. Make sure you guys check out the front office news. We'll have interviews with Wes Miller, uh, Odie Aguama, and Jeremiah Davenport on the site. And Neil right here is working on the recap for the game. And one more thing. We also saw Mason Masson was inactive tonight. Uh, Coach Miller uh, addressed that post game. It sounds like it's a minor hip injury, and there's JT and Tim. But it's a minor Special hip injury. Players. They're shutting him down for a few days, going to let it rest, and then he'll be back. Yeah, that's all we got for you, Bearcat Nation. Like I said, make sure you check out the front office news. We're signing out. <laughs>